Hello world, welcome to the school. A while back, I had made a video on swapping values of variables using XOR. And in this one, I'll be discussing the edge case I put forth at the end of the video. The discussion did happen in the comment section of the video, but I thought I'll address that in a video to the people who weren't a part of it. So, what could go wrong with the swapping procedure? Let's look at an example piece of code which can use a swapper. I've used this to create a procedure that takes a string and its length to reverse it in place. I've linked it just to the runnable version of this in the description. Please go ahead and try to figure out what's wrong with it. The program will behave oddly for strings with an odd number of characters, but works fine for others. There's one fix which can be done to the reversing procedure, but I won't talk about that as it would let you evade the issue with the swapping procedure. If you had used a simple swapping proc that uses a temporary variable, this problem would not exist. But let's examine what's going on. We're calling the reversing proc with the text as fez with the size of 3. We get the left index at 0 and the right at size minus 1 equal to 2. Get inside the loop, call the swap proc with the address of characters at index 0 and 2, inside the swap proc, things go just fine, and we come back to rev. We increment left, decrement right, check if left is less than or equal to right, get inside the loop, and call swap. But this time, the addresses, pointed to by a and b, are the same. The first instruction says that we XOR the values and store the result in the first location. XORing two same values is going to give us a zero. So we store a zero in the first location. But wait, both the locations are the same. So the second location will also store a zero. We just ended up destroying all data. The rest of the operations just won't have any effect. And when we come back to rev, we'll have a zero in the middle. Bear in mind, this is not the zero character, but the null byte character, whose numerical value is zero. The same null byte that is used to terminate a string. Rev results in this array of characters, and now it's obvious that when you print the array, the output will only contain the characters until the null byte. Z. End. Thanks for watching.